Florida Welcome Center. So we just got in a car in Atlanta and now we're at Disney. <laughs> we are all packed up for our road trip. Road trip! <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to our first stop. We've come to a McDonald's. We're about an hour 45 into the trip so far, uh, but I'm very hungry. We didn't have any breakfast or coffee or anything. So yeah, I just got myself a little sausage and egg McMuffin. We're about three hours in now. We've come to a rest stop. I mean, the camera's pointed at me. So <laughs> I've obviously still got Jen and Rachel with me. Yay! <laughs> Uh, so Jen let us know that the rest stops here are like really good to just stop and go to the bathroom. They're really nice and clean. So that's where we've pulled off just to go for a little bathroom break and then we'll crack on. So this is really nice. They have vending machines with lots of different Ooh. snacks and drinks and stuff. What'd you get yourself? Oh, Powerade. Did you see this one? Nice. Has, um, charging cables. Oh, that's clever. We have made it to the Florida Welcome Center. We're just uh, getting some photos in front of the sign. We're just taking some photos of these two lovely girls. They took ours. Hey, Rachel, we're in Florida. <laughs> I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> it's so funny. I have seen this Welcome Center for years on people's trip reports, on the Diz boards and things like that. So it's really surreal to actually be here. They have lots of pamphlets for the different things you can do in Florida. Okay, so one of the big things that I remember from the trip reports was getting the free orange juice. I am so excited that we can go and get some of this juice. So we just did what I think will be our last food stop, before our last food stop, <laughs> which was for some Dunkin' Donuts. So uh, we've got Jen the little Dunkin' Donut holes. Woohoo! <laughs> I had a Bavaria cream and Rachel had a Boston cream. Which is nice, Rachel? Yeah, mine was nice. They're quite fresh. Um, they had very limited options, but we actually did okay. <laughs> We've got about two hours left, and uh, the plan I think then is just to stop for like a grocery stop. Oh, towards... oh, we should get the um, grapefruit hefeweizen too. Yeah, I did. I logged that in my brain. Yeah, I, said and I, I meant to get it in my pockets <laughs> last night, and I forgot. So, so we uh, we're gonna get the the beer that you can get. Uh, and make a beer stop as you do. Yeah, of course. Beer and groceries at Publix, and in particular, we're gonna get the beer, which is the uh, German grapefruit beer that you get at Epcot. Except we will not pay Disney prices. Nope. We will probably get four beers cheaper than one beer. <laughs> So guys, we watched a documentary <laughs> called The Villages on YouTube. Just look it up. And, uh, it wasn't called The Villages though. I can't remember. Oh what no, it was wasn't. Called. It was about the villages. Should link it below. Yes. Okay, next stop on our little road trip is Publix, but we're actually only 20 minutes now from our destination at Disney World. So we just got our grapefruit beer. Mission accomplished. <laughs> no need to buy any in Epcot now. Nope. So we were yeah. just saying, myself and Rachel, we've arrived at Olkie West, <laughs> first of all. Myself and Rachel just feel very surreal because we just got in a car in Atlanta and now we're at Disney and that's never happened to us before. <laughs> the fact that we were just driving, but now we're at Disney, so we can't process no security, that we're at Disney. No customs. Yeah, it's so weird. No, like, luggage everywhere. It's been such a chilled, like, although it's been long, it's been a chilled drive. Yeah. It's been so nice. And also now it's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> and we have made it to our Oki West room. We are actually in a new area for us, which is down around, I think it's Turtle Pond. Oh gosh, I'm going to get it wrong now. Um, but we're near like the Turtle Shack and the Turtle Pool. It's definitely the Turtle area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have, um, <laughs> I've locked out uh, Jen and Rachel on the balcony, um, not letting them back in. I actually could do that. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, let's tour this beautiful, beautiful room. So um, this is the Old Key West studio. You can see we've got two, two regular beds. One of the main reasons for my love of the Old Key West studios is that you get two proper beds. And also the studio itself is quite big. But look, something I want to show you guys that I just noticed 
that I've never seen before is this little pack they've put in that has USB chargers and extra charging points. So that's definitely new from the last time I was in one of these studios. And actually, I don't recall it in May when we were in the two bed either. So that's a really nice addition. We've got the lovely artwork here. You guys have already seen the balcony. The two girls are just chilling out there. Uh, we've got some groceries from Publix just sat on the table here, but you've got this nice little area to sit and have your food and stuff. Some more really cute artwork. The artwork in here is amazing. And then around on the TV, it's actually not got our name because we did a little room switch. So this was actually gonna be Jen's room, um, but we switch a rude. And uh, what's also really cool is that we're gonna be right beside each other. So Jen's room is gonna be in walking distance from here, which is nice. Her room's actually not ready yet, which is why she's hanging out with us for a little bit longer. Uh, we've got our closet space here. Okay, so inside we've got our appliances for cleaning. We have got our ironing board. We've got some little hangers there as well and our safe. I think I said the luggage rack, but there is a luggage rack as well. And some more hangers on this side, which I appreciate because sometimes they're a little bit tight with the hangers. And then we've got our extra pillows and stuff up there. I think it's pillows on a blanket. Then on the opposite side, we have our little kitchenette area. We've got our coffee maker. The room does not come with the Ray-Bans there, Rachel's. A toaster. We've got some Joffrey's coffee. They're still doing the 50th anniversary blend. And we've got some coffee mate. I did actually pick up some half and half because I love half and half with my coffee. And then we've got our little fridge here. I say little, but it is a decent sized fridge. You can see we've got our half and half in there. I picked up some salad and a few other bits for the fridge, some water as well. Then under the sink, you have your kitchen towels, your little bits for washing up, your tea towel and a bin. And I think this is slightly different too, because I remember there being cupboards. However, I don't actually know that we've stayed in a studio since the LQS refurb. So that probably explains why this looks a bit different. A nice big microwave or ice bucket, all of our paper plates and cups and things and our utensils. And then into our bathroom. So there's not two toilets, that's the mirror. <laughs> we've got our toilet here. We've got our bath here, then it's a decent size. And then we've got our toiletries up on the wall there. Nice little space to put your own few bits and a decent shower head. We've got this lovely vanity unit. They've given us some body lotion and facial soap. And then down below you have the hair dryer towels. And then we also have some under sink storage. I think there might be another little bin in here. Oh no, it was some extra toilet paper and some tissues. And then up above, we've got a nice mirror which faces off against the full length mirror that's on the back of the door. Behind the door then you have a door hook, you have some extra hooks here and your tails on the tail rail. And back out in the main room then, like I said, you have the telly here, but you also have your drawers underneath. So a decent amount of storage and a nice big spacious room. Oh, <laughs> well, this is quite laborsome. <laughs> is that even a word? What? What on earth is this? No, is this actually real? <laughs> well, that was a workout and a half. <laughs> it took ages. <laughs> My arms are actually a little bit sore. I'm not gonna lie. We're just back in the room now. We went for food at Chili's, got to catch up with some friends, which was really good. And um, yeah, now we're ready for bed. Tomorrow morning is gonna be an early entry day at the Magic Kingdom, which I'm super excited for. So I'm gonna get a good rest so I can enjoy a good park day tomorrow. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning. Morning, you never know when it's